Gotta fix my earrings. Whoa. Camera doesn't know what to do with my hair. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sewing myself a nice warm wintry coat. I rated my pattern stash, couldn't find anything that I really in, in the shape that I wanted. I have a very particular shape in my brain that I want. I'm going to copy this instead. This is a coat that I got from Kmart. So I'm going to copy the shape of this for my coat or jacket or what do you call it? I don't know. So in order to make this coat, I'm going to be using a blanket, a pretty pastel blanket, wool vintage given to me by my lovely neighbour. So I'm going to use this and if I have enough, hopefully I should have enough of this flannelette fabric, this will be the lining. Anyways, let's get to it. now I've sewn shoulder shoulder seams and side seams I'm just going to go through and finish off the edges with the overlocker sleeves are done I just need to set them in to the jacket then I'll move on to the button placket working out my plan for that as well as the collar so if we just try her on inside out <laughs> see how it's going so that needs to go up more and then I have to do the exact same thing for the lining so let's do it some footage of me unpicking because I sewed the sleeve inside out okay just chucking this on to check the fit now I've made the back quite long so I'm gonna add I mean not long quite wide so I think I'm gonna do a couple of tucks at the top there to bring the back piece in a little bit um, and the shoulder is sitting pretty low at the moment so I think I'm gonna bring it up and I've marked it where I want it to start and I'm gonna um, reshape the neckline. Once I cut the neckline then I've got to work out my plan for the collar button situation and I'll worry about the sleeves once I've sorted the neckline. It's not lined yet and it's really bloody warm. <laughs> Pose. 
Cheesy cat. Keep playing. Just fart. going in the background though. What's a bugger blueberry? <laughs> I've just repeated the exact same steps to make the lining. So here is the lining. Hold on. I'm going to attempt to sew the lining into the woolen outer piece. I was dreaming about this last night, trying to work out the best way to finish it and what steps to do first and next and I'm going to do the lining before I worry about any button, the button placket or the collar or anything like that. But still heaps more work to do. I thought this was going to be fast but it's really not. It's not. That's okay. in it's too wide so how to fix that so I can't even wear it like hanging because it's just dangling it's, it's dangling off my shoulders when it's up properly looks like that which means there is all that extra I'm going to remove the back section of the collar and then put a couple of big Starts in the back to bring the neckline in. That's all my brain 
can think of at the moment that will hopefully bring it in and stop it from falling off. So I actually wanted to wear it open but I need it to be able to not be so ch chunky, chunky, chunky. So I'm going to grab this section here so I know how much I need to take off. <laughs> And a string. You don't understand the pain it brings. You don't ever wanna give me wings. You don't ever wanna set me free. You know I'm addicted to you. And it's twisted, you've been gifted with the evil voodoo. Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed. Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone.